Welcome to the Creative Playing Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hey guys, Jim from Creative Playing Podcast Network again. Just wanted to say, hope everyone had a great Gen Con and made it back home safe. And also wanted to thank Dave Chapman for starting the RPG a Day program. So, for day two, a kickstarted game that I was most pleased with that I backed. For that, I'd have to go with the most recent one, which is Magi Monsters. It's a monster catching tabletop RPG by Late Night Games. It's actually a pretty fun little game that does a good job of putting the elements of uh, D&D, a little bit of apocalyptic RPG, with a fun ability of catching and upgrading monsters that your characters use. I mean, honestly, in like Iron Kingdoms, that's one thing I like of having either of being the controller of a Steam Jack, or if you're playing the Horde, being a warlock who can have a pet, basically, and getting to have that whole tactical teamwork thing going on. With Magi Monsters, it does a great job of having your character as well as the the Magi monster that you've captured to help go around this apocalyptic world either fighting to protect people, trying to find new monsters, or to get some more of those Dradjuls so you can catch more of those monsters because, you know, after all, it's one of those kind of games where you want to catch them all. And uh, I just want to say uh, I, the folks over at uh, Late Night Games are fantastic folks. We got a great interview with them uh, quite a few months ago. And I've gotten quite a few good tests out of playing some of the beta materials that they provided all the Kickstarter folks. Anyone who backed them pretty much got access to their beta sourcing so they could try to make the game a little bit better. If you guys are interested, check out Magi Monsters. As I always tell it to the folks I'm trying to get interested in it, I tell them it's Thundar the Barbarian meets Pokemon. Because after all, you'll really love it once you get into some of the world themes. And they pretty much on their Facebook, if you can check out Magi Monsters on Facebook, they do a great job of showing concept art as it comes out. And of course, then they try to get more fans to help give more info on what they want the creatures to be. So, hey guys, talk to you later on day three, favorite new game of the last 12 months. And again, thank you for listening. Hi, this is Kelly, aka Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from DD Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.